Hello again, this is Matthew Valenti, and let's talk about power and how to represent it in dB units. This is a continuation of section 1.3 on decibels, and we already looked at how to express free space path loss in dB units, but now let's talk about how to express power in dB units. Now the thing about power is that um, if we want to express it in a dB unit, we need to remember what a dB is. Now dB is a way to express a power ratio in a logarithmic measure. So what you do is you take two powers, take the log of that, multiply by 10. So it wouldn't really make sense to just take a power, take the log of that, and multiply by 10, because that power in itself is not, strictly speaking, a power ratio. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to define a reference power. And uh, we could pick a variety of reference powers. Uh, initially, let's just go with 1 watt. And then what you would do is if you want to take your power and represent it in dB units, take 10 log of that power, but divide the power by 1 watt. Okay? If we do that, then the result is what we would say called dBW. So we'd say it's power in units of dBW. So dBW is dB over 1 watt. Okay? Well, we could, instead of uh, defining our reference power to be 1 watt, we know that 1 watt is sometimes a large value, especially when we're dealing with received RF signals. So we might have our reference power just be 1 milliwatt. So what do we do then? Well, then we just take our power and divide by 1 milliwatt, okay? Well, we know that a milliwatt is equal to 10 to the minus 3 watts. So using our properties of logarithms, we could actually write this out as 10 log p minus 10 log of to the minus 3. How do we do that? Well, we're just using log x over y is equal to log of x minus log of y. Okay? But then we can also get rid of the exponent because we know that um, if you have, let's say, log 10x, that's the same thing as saying x log 10. So we can essentially take this take that minus 3 that was there and bring that out front and in doing so we're going to get rid of the minus 3 and then this subtraction uh, by 10 log 10 is actually going to be an addition by 30 and then we're left with log 10 but log 10 is simply 1 because that's the base of our logarithm is 10 okay so we're just left with 30 All right. <clears throat> So you can convert from power in dBW to power in dBm by just adding 30 to it. So this power here, because the reference is 1 milliwatt, we would say that this is power in dBm, dB over milliwatt. What we had over here is power in dBw. Okay. Or another way to think of dBm is to simply represent your power in milliwatts and then take 10 log of it, okay? And then that'll also get you power in dBm. Okay, so remember that we want to think of our system uh, as a, sort of like an amplifier. So we have our channel. And the channel is a system that has an input with a power PT and an output with a power PR. And we know that PR is equal to gain times PT, but rather than using gain, we prefer to use a loss because we really a channel we think of as a lossy medium, not really something that 
um, adds gain to the system. So we'll just represent that as PT divided by L. Now, just to be specific about our loss, it's LD, meaning loss at distance D. Okay, so if we want to represent this in DB, then what we're going to need to do is um, take 10 log of PR, but remember, we need some reference. And so our reference could be 1 watt, or it could be 1 milliwatt, depending on whether we're dealing with um, whether we're dealing with dBm or dBw. Okay, so over here, now we're going to take this PT divided by uh, LD, and what we want to do is use our property of logarithms. So our 10 log PT over LD is going to be 10 log PT minus 10 log L. D. Now this PT, again, we need a reference, so we'll use 1 watt. Uh, LD, it's okay for us to just take 10 log of it, because we already talked about loss. Loss is actually a ratio. It's a ratio of uh, powers, so we can leave it as such. Okay, so now what do we have? We now have an equation, which is in dB units, this 10, 10 log uh, P r over 1 watt, that is pr expressed in dBw, and then our uh, 10 log pt over 1 watt, that's pt in dBw, and then we have our loss, that's ld, just in db. Remember, our loss is a proper uh, ratio, and so um, we we can just keep that as a dB. We don't need it to be in dBW. Okay, now some students get a little upset. They see, oh, we've got a unit over here, dBW, another dBW, and a dB. That's okay. Um, rule of thumb, you want to have, uh, like your PR and PT, you want your powers to be, of course, in... in uh, dBW or dBm units, but anything that's like a loss or a gain, uh, that can just be in, in dB, okay? It's perfectly fine. All right, now if we wanted to, we could have just as easily picked as our reference one milliwatt. Had we done that, then our equation would just be PR in dBm, and that's equal to PT in dBm minus loss, okay? And dB. Key here is you want to make sure that your powers are all in the same dB unit. So if, if, if one of the powers is in dBW, you really want the other power to also be in dBW. Or if one of them is in dBm, you want the other one to be in dBm. Okay, so now we're ready to finish up our example. And in our example, we already found that the free space path loss and dB was equal to 100 dB, right? So all we need now is we need to know what the transmit power is in an appropriate dB unit, okay? And um, PT is specified as being 2 watts, all right? Two watts. So what we want to do is we want to convert that into a dB unit. Um, I would suggest using dBm because the problem asked us to find PR in dBm. All right, so PT in dBm is found by taking 10 log of PT in watts and adding 30 to it. And so... Um, then 10 log of 2 is just about 3, and so then we're going to get 33 approximately here. Okay? 
All right, so we know what our transmit power is, and now what we can do is we can just plug it into the equation down here. Transmit power dBm was 33. Our loss was 100. 33 minus 100 is minus 67 dBm, and that would be the received power for this problem.